Alright boys and girls, so let's create a busy spider. We're going to start out, I'll show you on black paper first, then white paper. We start out with our white crayon on black paper and make a dot somewhere close to the middle. From that dot, I'm going to make a line all the way to the edge of the paper. Now I'm going to make another line from that dot all the way to the edge of the paper. And I'm going to do that again. Notice I start at the dot and go all the way to the edge. It looks like I'm making a bunch of V's, the letter V. From the dot all the way to the edge. From the dot all the way to the edge again. From the dot all the way to the edge. And one more time, from that dot all the way to the edge. Go ahead and fill in any more lines if you feel like there's a space that needs one more. And for the next part, we're going to use the letter U, a curved line, kind of like a smiley face. So between each of the lines of the spider web, make a letter U, and then right next to it, make another letter U between the V lines. It's like making a smiley face, a curved line between each of the lines. And when you finish one curved line, you start the next one right next to it in the next section of your spider web. I'm going to repeat that over and over again until I get all the way around with my first strand of my spider web. Then I'm going to move a little bit further away on the spider web, a little bit further in each section, and make another curved line in each section of my web, another strand of the web. going to continue that section all the way around until I have my smiley face curved lines all the way around in that next section of my web. Now I've gone around twice. I'm going to do it one more time so a bigger curved line looks like a bigger smiley face now because our lines are getting farther apart. Curved line up to a point and then I start there and make my next curved line. to continue that pattern until I get all the way around. If you have a line that ends up going off the paper, that's okay. Just stop at the edge of the paper. Now that is an awesome looking spider web. And before I show you how to make a spider, I'm going to repeat all those steps over again on a white sheet of paper. This time I'm going to use a black crayon and we're gonna follow the same steps. So, start out with your black crayon and make a dot somewhere close to the center of your paper. And from that black dot, go all the way to the edge of the paper with a straight line. And I'm going to do that over and over from the middle dot all the way to the edge of the paper with a straight line. And I'm making the letter V almost. It looks like I'm making the letter V over and over again. Straight line all the way to the edge of the paper until I fill up my paper with these straight lines. You'll have about 10 straight lines from the middle of the paper all the way to the edge. And 
after you create your straight lines, go ahead and we're going to start in the first section and create a curved smiley line to connect those two lines. Smiley line and then start where you left off and make another one and another one and another one. Keep making that curved smiley face U line all the way around between each of the two straight lines that you made to begin with. And when you're done with your first section of the web, then you're going to start the second section of the web. And this one, the curved lines are getting a little bit bigger because your straight lines are a little farther apart. Now, I'm going to make my curved line, and when I leave off with my curved line, I immediately start the curved line in the next section. They're always touching their neighbor. So, curved line, connect them, and make that section of the web all the way around. Now that we've completed the second round of our web, let's make one last one, the third one, and these curved lines are even bigger because the lines are farther apart. So make your curved line and at every point where you finish one curved line, you start the next one and keep going all the way around until you complete your third section of your amazing spider web. at an amazing spider web but wait we need a spider find a scrap piece of paper I found this crumpled up piece of red paper it can be any color it could even be notebook paper if you want and I'm going to tear out a circle or something close to a circle it will not be perfect and that's what I want I don't want it to be perfect so I want it to look like a fuzzy spider so I'm tearing this circle out and once I have it torn out I'm going to draw a spider face on it now I like to make my spiders silly and cute because they scare me a little bit so I don't want it to look mean and ugly so I am going to add some white on the eyes of my spider and color in the black parts of the pupil I'm actually going to also add a smiley face. Yeah, I like that. It makes them look even more friendly. So after you add the face and eyes, go ahead and get out your glue stick and we're gonna glue this little guy down. You can glue him anywhere on your web. And after you glue him down, don't forget to give him some legs. Right now he doesn't have any. So how many legs do a spider have? Hmm. Oh, that's right spiders have eight legs so go ahead and give your spider eight legs and once you have done that you have an amazing busy spider and ta-da there he is now I'm going to show you how to draw a spider if you created your spider web on a white sheet of paper so go ahead and get out your black crayon and with your black crayon, we're just going to draw this time instead of cutting out with paper. I'm going to draw a body, so just a circle. And then two little circles for the eyes. 
and then color in the pupils. And now I'm going to add the eight legs of my spider. Mm -hmm, those front ones are really, really short. Okay, and then you can decide what, co uh, what color you would like your spider to be. It could be, you know, red or blue or purple, whatever color you would like him to be. Color in your spider and you have an amazing spider web drawing. All right, I cannot wait to see the spider webs that you create. Thanks, see you soon.